a clip of Bill Gates on Letterman in 1995 talking about the internet. It's 70 seconds. I'll see you on the other side. But, but you know, I think about this, and, and what about this internet thing? Do you, do you know anything about that? Sure. What, what the hell is that exactly? Well, it's, it's become a place where people are publishing information. Right. So you, everybody can have their own homepage, companies are there, the latest information. It's wild what's going on. You can send electronic mail to people. Uh, it is the big new thing. Yeah, but you know, uh, it's easy to criticize something you don't fully understand, which is my position here. Go ahead. But I, I can remember a couple of months ago, there was like a big breakthrough announcement <laughs> that on the internet or on some computer deal, they were going to broadcast a, a baseball game. You could listen to a baseball game on your computer. And I just thought to myself, does radio ring a bell? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? It's just there's, there's a difference. There is a difference. It's not a huge difference. What is the uh, difference? But you can you can listen to the baseball game whenever you want. All right. Too. Oh, I see. So it's stored in one of your memory deals. Exactly. And then you can come That's back the a year later. you talked yeah, about earlier. Yeah, yeah. Do tape recorders ring a bell? <laughs> it's so easy now to look back on that and say, well, it's global and it's free and it's accessible 24 hours a day for free. <laughs> and anybody can publish to it, whereas only a small number of people can publish to the radio, right? There's a gatekeeper. So we never even got to the gatekeeper part of this. And those would be the other reasons that this is incredible. <laughs> this is triggering all these discussions I used to have where I tried to explain the internet to people when I was 23, 24, 25 years old. And that's, I think, what's happening now with Web3.